Okay, thank you. So uh, I guess there are no questions because uh, the speaker went back home, sitting there. So I'm uh, to the next topic, C++17 uh, and the template auto edition. Um, my name is Emil Kirsch. And they thought, um, well, we don't have auto enough in the language. We need to put auto in another new place. And the, the idea was let's take it into template. Um, so um, it starts with um, type and non-type template parameters. Um, you know that uh, in a template you can have type parameters and non-type parameters, like in this example, my array is using type name t for the type and size, which is size t for its size. Both are known at compile time. Um, you probably remember the rules for what can be uh, the non-type parameter. Um, this is nice. This is just a reminder. Um, when we come to variadic templates with type parameters, we can see that um, each type can be different, which means you have, um, for example, a sum, and we want, you want to sum different types. This is doable. Um, so T can be any type, and you can see that you can mix the types quite easily. No news here. When you go to non-type parameters, and here I have something a bit different. In the previous slide, I was using uh, functions overloading, which usually is not the best way to uh, use for templates, but it was working for the previous slide. Here I'm using specialization. So I have here um, some different sum um, implementation. In this implementation, I want to sum numbers or things that are known in compile time. So I'm using it through the template itself. Uh, so I have here a struct which um, uh, catches the actual numbers in compile time. And then uh, in the uh, way that uh, we use usually for variadic templates, we have the uh, single case uh, in case I have only one number and the multiple case. And at the end, I can call some with the template parameters and have the sum of one for two in this example. And now the question is, can I mix types? Can I send here into sum, into the template parameters of sum, different types, like for example, one and a and two. And in this example, I'm using char and not floating points because floating point and double are not uh, legitimate as a template non-type parameter, but char is. So can I do that? And the answer is, well, no, you cannot. And why you cannot in uh, C++14? You cannot because for the single case, it's easy. You just use the template type parameter to say what is the next non-type that you have. So you use template type num t and then t num. That's nice. Now, if you want to give the type for all the non-type parameters, you need to use variadic for both the type and the non-type, like in the middle of the slide. The problem is that you need to use both variadic templates for the type and the non-type, and you get a compilation error that the template pack, the pack must be the last template parameter. And in this example, <coughs> somebody would be last, but only one of them. Uh, now, there is a solution before C++17, and the solution is to wrap up the type and the value. It's ugly. We are looking for something else. And we remember that we want to stick out to somewhere. So let's think uh, what can we do. And C++17 brought uh, the following solution. Uh, so instead of just saying, OK, we have integers or we have chars, let's say that we have none type parameters of type auto. So in this case, we have a template of auto num, and num can be any non-type parameter. And then we have the template for the variadic case with auto num, and then uh, a pack of auto nums. And it works perfectly with one and char a and two. Of course, all need to be known as compile time. Uh, so ep for a, that's nice. But I think that I still have some time. Um, but 
how did Tuple work before that? Didn't we have wouldn't we have a problem with Tuple before the template auto? Um, well, the answer is no, we don't, because Tuple is not non-type parameter based. It's the type, and the type can be different. So if you can, uh, if you take a look at Tuple, Tuple takes the actual values in runtime as function parameters or as constructor parameters. Uh, there is something nice in C17. You don't have to use make tuple. You can just call the constructor, send the actual parameter that you want, and rely on class template argument deduction. We'll not talk about that right now. Um, tuple is also interesting because how it holds its values, it's like a mystery. Because usually what we do when we get um, pack, um, template pack parameters, we just pass them, which is the easiest thing to do. You get that? And you say, well, I know there is a constructor who wants to take that from, let's say, in place. So we just pass that on. But Tuple does not have this privilege. Tuple needs to hold it. So we'll not talk about that right now, but this is interesting. Um, so Tuple is not the case. It doesn't need the template auto, but there are other cases. Uh, there is another case. Um, another usage for template auto is the following. Suppose that we have a class and the class has a non-type parameter, for example, foo in this example has a size. And suppose that foo doesn't hold the size in a static variable or in another way, and we want to extract the size that foo got. So we want something like a generic function extract size that will take a type t, because <laughs> it doesn't have to be foo, it can be anything. And then we want to extract the actual size of t, okay? So something like return k, which is the size from tk, and for foo of six, we would like to get back six. Now, this can be done without template auto back in C14 or C11 easily, but we need to say that the type t is templated on size t. <coughs> we need to know the actual type of the non-type parameter. We need to know that it is a size t. So we have here a template template parameter because we say, okay, t is a template variable, and then the template is getting two variables, t, which is a template variable, and k, which in a way describes t. And then we, can, we get t of k, but we need to say that t is conditioned, is templated over size t. And there isn't a way before C17 to say that t is templated over some unknown non-type. Now we can try that. Let's try that before C17. Um, let's do that this way. Let's say that we have a type name, inner type, and then we have a template of inner type, which is unknown, and then we have the inner type as an additional template parameter. Now we do things like that with types, but it doesn't work with uh, uh, this way with a non-type, and we get a compilation of saying candidate temp template ignored couldn't infer template argument in a type. Why it couldn't in uh, infer that? Because the standard says so. The, the standard said that the compiler doesn't need to infer that. By the way, the same code compiles well with C17. So in C17, this compiles, but you have a better syntax. And the better syntax is to go again to the template auto, which looks like that. Um, template, and inside we have a template template parameter because we're saying, okay, t is a variable that we want to get as a template variable and extract from it the actual template parameter that it holds. And we have a template auto class t, then we get the auto k and we keep it as auto. And this way we can just extract k without knowing the type of k. That's nice. Uh, some links. So uh, the first one is the proposal uh, for the standard, and, and you can read there some uh, another nice example for uh, introducing <coughs> why, uh, what is the need, and two links to Stack Overflow or showing the usage, um, mainly things that I presented here. Um, so, if you can just uh, run this uh, <coughs> code, and if you have any questions, no time for questions. No time for questions. Many thanks. <laughs>